actually at a Walmart with a local heart representative. His name is Tyler. I've known him for about a year or so now, and he's been pretty helpful to me. And he's agreed to do a little short interview today about, you know, heart tools and the things. He's going to tell us what he can about heart and some of the things they have to offer today. I actually came down here today to pick up a mower, and he kind of got me with another product, which is a product I've been needing. Um, Tyler, can you tell us a little bit about what got you interested in being a heart representative? Uh, just a company based out of Anderson, South Carolina, so they own quite a few major brands and companies. Um, I thought it'd be a good company to go work for. It's kind of what started me in it. Originally applied for one of our sister companies, and then uh, got moved. Uh, put in the uh, parts on pretty good, pretty good system. Uh, anybody that buys our tools tends to come back to buy more product because the batteries interchange throughout. And see, that's one of the things I like about the heart tools because, like with Milwaukee or Dewalt or any of them, you know, they might have several tools that use the same battery, but you're going to find tools that will be the same voltage, but you've got to buy a specific battery for that. And with the heart tools, any 20 volt tool will operate off of any 20 volt battery. And the same goes for the 40 volt. And they're steadily up in their game on their batteries. You know, this year they've released a whole new line of batteries in the 20 and 40 volt uh, categories. Can you tell us a little bit about those? So the only one we released on the 40 volt side would be in this mower that you're purchasing today is an eight amp hour battery. Uh, it's gonna extend your runtime when you're using your mower. Um, and then we also, for our 20 volt lineup, we released a six amp hour battery that's gonna increase your runtime with that one as well. And then any of our brand new batteries, um, they have a, a gauge to check the fuel and how much uh, power is left in the battery. So whether you have 75% runtime, 50% runtime, 25% runtime where it's fully charged. There's a gauge on all of our new batteries that'll tell you what you have left before you even go out and use your product. Now, I know from talking with you in the past that you have a few heart tools that you use on your own and you just brag constantly about how good <laughs> they are. Can you tell us about some of those heart tools that you personally use? So, this is one. See, I beat it up. Uh, I use this one in my yard all last summer and throughout. You know, if it's a lighter snow, not a heavy snow, I use this to blow the snow off the cars and things like that. Um, it's it's going to be comparable to gas power. Um, anything 40 volt is going to be gas like power. Um, so when you look at our mowers, it'll say like the supercharged. If you read on the packaging, this mower specifically outperforms a 150 cc mower. Uh, when we tested it in the field, it outperformed the mower of that capacity. Uh, same thing with this blower here. It's our supercharged blower, 650 cfm. Um, it's going to outperform a 25 cc gas powered weed eater or trimmer. Not trimmer. Where's uh, speaking of trimmers, I don't see your trusty trimmer here that you were <laughs> carrying around in your truck last year. Uh, at my house, uh, not many people are doing weeding jobs right now, uh, so I left it in my truck. Uh, it'll be out in March, probably later February, March when the snow lets off, the winter uh, holds off, and start getting warmer weather. I'll start bringing it back out. Uh, right now, we're seeing a lot of people buying chainsaws and blowers because they're doing a lot of cleanup from the winter storms that are coming through. So we need your necessarily your own big one, but uh, this guy's one of my favorite. You actually own this one. Yeah, I have the 40 volt. I actually have the edger attachment for mine as well. Guys, whenever I bought this weed eater right here, we took it home, we took it out of the box and fired it up. And I mean, I was trimming shrubs and everything else. It just, the power is unreal. The only thing I have found about it that I don't like, you know, with me being in lawn care, I tend to take the guard off. You know, you're not supposed to, but I tend to take that off so I can get the string out there longer. You get the string out too long, it will shut down on you. Just nip a little bit of string off and it'll fire right back up. This thing cuts fields, weeds, and everything else. I mean, it's just a beast. Um, speaking of the chainsaws, um, can you tell us, I know they're releasing a, a, a new bar this year in length. Can you tell us the basic sizes that you offer in chainsaws? So, we have anything from an eight inch pruning saw to a 10 inch pruning saw. We also have a 10 inch, 20 volt uh, chainsaw. We have a 12 inch, 14, 16, and 18, um, which is being released this year. The 18 inch um, is just a mammoth of a chainsaw. Uh, so it's gonna be that supercharged lineup, just like our 16 inch. We're gonna be able to cut down trees. Um, you're talking, you're felling a tree on the 18 inch, you're gonna be able to cut down a 32 inch in diameter tree. 
for that 18 inch bar. Now, from my understanding, the 18 inch, isn't it basically just the same body itself that the 14 and the 16 inch run, but with an 18 inch bar? It has a little bit bigger battery. I think they might have reworked some of the motor. I, I don't know any of that. It's uh, just, I know. Performance-wise, um, it's going to be outperforming gas chainsaws. Well, I know I have the either the eight or the ten-inch pruning saw, which is a twenty volt, and I have the fourteen and sixteen-inch bars as well. Uh, the eight-inch saw, the ten-inch, whichever one it is, that's actually what sold me on the hard saws. I've got a gas saw set in the garage. It won't even start now. It's been so long since I've started it because these hard saws are all I've used ever since I bought them. I don't even use gas anymore. I mean, I'm sure I'll get into a situation with a Mammoth 3 where I'll have to go to a big three-foot bar gas saw or something like that. But, I mean, for the most part, guys, these battery-operated saws are all I use now. Um, I noticed being in some of the Walmarts that you guys are releasing a whole lot of just basic uh, non-powered hand tools. Can you give us some basics of what you um, offer on those? So, this year we released our lineup of uh, our hand tools like this, um, these are just coming into Walmart now. These are just good hand tools, good for trimming trees. You know, some of them have a limited lifetime warranty on them. So you're going to get that same quality tool that you would with any of our hand tools, mechanic side and stuff. Same thing you're going to get out in your garden. Um, you know, this gives you just more options, pruning up your rose bushes, things like that. Um, and then like these are brand new this year. These are great for when you're doing weed eating, um, cutting down the weeds around your yard. You're doing mower, uh, using your mower chainsaw it's going to cut down their vibrations right where you get a lot of calluses and puts a lot of extra padding there extra grip hey guys i'll tell you now with these gloves i slipped this pair on a while ago and this padding it's not hard it's a soft rubber where it hits on your hands is all them places where leather gloves tend to leave that that sore area from squeezing against it this comforts all of that i'm giving these a try this year as well um one of the other things that i noticed that mark did so here you got your big scoop shovel. They have released an entire line of shovels and rakes and things like that. Guys, Hart's trying to break into our market. They're trying to up the lawn care game. The only thing that I haven't actually seen in any of the stores is probably going to be an online purchase only that I want to try to get my hands on just to see if I can actually tear it up. And that's that zero turn mobile. <laughs> uh, well, we haven't released a zero turn. Well, yet. It's, a, it's, it's it's they're calling it's, it a zero turn, but it, yeah. it's a steering mower. But you um, know, it, it's a larger riding mower. So we have them in limited stores. It is an online purchase for most WalMarts. You can purchase it online and get it into your stores. And, you know, uh, but it's very limited. Uh, but it's, it's doing very well, from what I understand. It's a uh, 80 volt ride on mower. It does very well. Cuts an acre. Um, if I remember right. For charge it's one acre um, and i think the recharge time on it is somewhere around two or three hours to recharge it all right guys well i'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close so tyler can go back to work uh just know with all the heart tools i have i'm going to be bringing a lot of review videos this year i know i've been saying i'm going to do it but i haven't had time and i'm going to make time this year the very first review I'm going to be doing is going to be on this mower right here. I've actually got a property in mind that I'm going to use it on. I've got to get some leaves cleaned up off on it, and we're going to see how it does and just how long that battery is actually going to last on a full charge. I'll run the timer, and we'll see. And then I'll also see how long it takes to charge with a regular plug-in 40-volt charger as well as with a rapid charger. So we'll test the battery both ways and see how, well it, how long it takes. Tyler, thank you for your few yeah. minutes today. No thank you for always being there for me when I got questions. Uh, guys, try to get to know your local farm representatives wherever you're at. They can be really helpful to you. They can tell you what's out there for what you're looking for. They can tell you a farm has it. They can tell you stores within their districts where you can find it. And, I mean, they're just all around nice guys from what I've met. This is Charles with C-Man Lawn Care. I'll talk to you later.